So this is a requested video and I had been saving it for a while, but today is the day. Here we go. Everything there is to know about the morning wood. Why do men wake up with an erection? What does it mean? Are guys like having sex dreams every single night? Or is it just a way to not pee at night? Is it unhealthy? And if yes, when do you have to check in with your doctor? Or is it unhealthy not to have one? Let's answer all of these questions. First of all, general erection info. The brain sends signals that widen the arteries connected to the penis, allowing more blood to enter. The veins that usually carry this blood back to the rest of the body shrink, and this results in the penis swelling and stiffening. By the way, I'd be terrified no that my veins of some body part shrink so that the blood cannot leave said body part anymore? What, what if they don't dilate anymore afterwards? Anyhow, <laughs> erections you get while sleeping are called nocturnal penile tumescence in SMART and a healthy male will typically experience three to five erections while asleep each night each lasting up to 25 or even 35 minutes. This of course also depends on many factors that I'm gonna discuss in a sec. But first of all, when does it occur? Because it is not any kind of sleep. When asleep, we have these four to six 90 minute cycles of different phases of sleep. The phases are wake, light sleep, deep sleep, REM, and repeat. REM sleep is the magic ingredient here. Rapid eye movement sleep. It's called that way because during this part of your sleep cycle, your eyes will move and dart quickly beneath your eyelids. During REM sleep, your brain activity increases, your pulse quickens and you have dreams. And this is the part of the sleep cycle where people get nocturnal penile tumescences. So as you understand, calling it morning wood is a bit inaccurate because a man can have as many erections during the night as REM sleep phases. They just don't always wake up. The reason why they do wake up to one is because REM sleep is the last phase of a sleep cycle and this is when we usually wake up when having a healthy sleep pattern and are not jerked away by an alarm or something. Generally, an erection can be triggered when an individual becomes aroused by thinking about seeing or feeling something or someone who is sexually exciting to them. So number one reason for an erection while asleep is the obvious sex dream you are seeing something exciting to you. Number two, you are feeling something exciting to you. I mean, okay, having a sex dream already makes you feel things because your feelings are in the brain just as the dreams and you feel your dreams as well and so on. But you know what I mean, externally feeling something, like not fabricated by your, well, any feeling is in the end fabricated by your brain. Okay, no, <laughs> I will not start this conversation with myself again. <laughs> you got what I mean. You physically feel something exciting to you from the outside world. This could be your sleep partner brushing up against you. Do not take it personally. It's about the touch, not the person. Your sheets or even the bladder pressing on your sacral nerve from within. The sacral nerve controls a person's bladder, bowel and pelvic floor and the muscles related to the functions. These muscles are all also involved when having an orgasm, obviously. Obvious because of the proximity to your penis as well as other more sciencey and specific ways that are too boring to explain. So, Yes, your bladder can actually cause an erection. Let me be clear here. Some people believe a morning erection keeps them from urinating during their sleep, but this is not true. It is just that the sacral nerve, which is controlling and informing you of the fullness of your bladder, can cause you to get excited. Number three, testosterone, of course. You were probably wondering when it would come up, right? <laughs> so testosterone levels have been shown to be the highest in the morning around 8 a.m. and the lowest in the evening around 9 p.m. But then like, why do we so often have sex at night? I need to go check the female hormone fluctuations during the day right after I'm done here and figure out why this is a thing. What do you think? Either way, testosterone is kind of essential for an ele election, <laughs> no, not essential for an election, for an erection. <laughs> and not just at night. Levels of hormones also fluctuate throughout the day, particularly testosterone, and this can cause random erections. But then you have your conscious brain putting in a veto and being like, no, we're not having an erection right now for no reason whatsoever. And this is already reason number four. You do not control or inhibit your sexy 
see thoughts at night because you, the, the brain, which would otherwise think of dead puppies or I don't know what, to inhibit an erection is just not consciously controllable. So as you can see, no, it does not need to be a sex dream. It is completely normal to happen several times a night and you don't necessarily know it does. It lasts a while every time, but subsides in a few minutes after waking up. Who gets nocturnal erections? Well, everyone. Yes, women can be aroused as well at night. We have talked about nocturnal orgasms in women, but I am talking about penis wearers, <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed or feel excluded. There is no age restriction, although there are more probable and more frequent to happen in a male specimen in the teenage years and up to the late 30s. But children get them and even male fetuses have been shown to have erections in utero. Is it a sign of health? Yes, kinda. It does indicate that your physiology works fine. Your blood vessels and nerves are fine. The testosterone levels are normal, so you have nothing to worry about. But what does it mean if you do not wake up with an erection? Is it a sign of an unhealthy penis then? Well, no, not necessarily, but it can be. First of all, we talked about the levels of testosterone. After a certain age, men have less testosterone, also when they're kids, in their bodies and might not have enough at that moment, minutes preceding to the awakening, to get an erection. This is not a big deal. Then you could also not have had a good night's sleep and wake up during another phase of your sleep cycle. If you do not come out of REM sleep, you most probably won't have an erection. It is also possible to be in REM sleep but not get an erection. That's not weird or worrying either for once in a while. It might be due to a high stress levels and psychological problems, for example. But a lack of morning erections may also suggest a problem with the blood vessels, nerves, or be a sign of erectile dysfunction or impotence. But this would most often go hand in hand with erectile dysfunction while being awake, so don't stress just yet. Just keep in mind to tell your doctor whether or not you are experiencing morning erections because that would help them diagnose the reason for the dysfunction in your wake. Now, what about if it lasts too long? Priapism is a condition in which an erection lasts more than four hours. That can result in permanent dysfunction of the penis. Remember the blood vessels shrinking and not letting the blood back out? That's exactly what I was talking about. It's terrifying. Morning erections typically subside soon after you wake up. If you're having erections that last significantly longer, it, it would be a good idea to speak to your doctor about them. So every man experiences nocturnal penile erections and they do not necessarily have to do with sex dreams, but they are totally normal. A little bit like a regular checkup of the body. And to check up on what I post every Friday, you should totally subscribe to my channel because I talk about the science around the human body every week. And if you like this, do give it a thumbs up or maybe even honor me with a tiny little comment. I love reading your comments. <laughs>